let's talk about the classification of adjective. Now, number one is adjective of quality. Now, let's give the example here. He is a bright student. Here, bright is the keyword. Now, the question is why this is adjective? Because it is qualifying the word student. And student is noun. As we are talking about the quality of a student, that's why the name is adjective of quality. This is the number one classification. And number two is that adjective of quantity. Now, let's see the example. He has some money. Here the word some is adjective. Why? Because it is qualifying the word money. Money is noun. So we are talking about the quantity of noun. That's why this is adjective of quantity. Now the third one, adjective of number or numeral adjective. Now let's see the example. He has five friends. The word five is an adjective. Why? Because it is qualifying the noun friends. Now we can count the friends. One, two, three, four, five. As we can count the number, that's why the name is adjective of number. We can also define it as adjective of number or numeral adjective. That means in the exam, if the example is given here, and if you write down this as an adjective of number, your answer is correct. If you say this is numeral adjective, your answer is correct as well. Now the last part is pronominal adjective. So look at this word pronominal. Because the word has come from the word pronoun. That means it has, a, it has a relationship with pronoun. When pronoun acts as an adjective, that means a pronoun is qualifying another noun, it becomes pronominal adjective. Now, look at the example. It is her pen. We know that her is conventionally a pronoun. This is a possessive pronoun. But the question is, here, it is qualifying the word pen. And pen is noun. So, the name of this adjective is pronominal adjective. As it is basically a pronoun, but it is qualifying noun, it becomes an adjective. So the name is pronominal adjective. It is no more a pronoun. Now we shall focus more on some other examples. Here, adjective of number or numeral adjective has got some other classification. Now we shall move on to other classification as well. Then we shall move on to pronominal adjective because pronominal has, has, adjective has got some other ideas. And if we sum up with all these ideas, we will be able to understand all the, almost all the classification of adjective. Okay, now the four examples have been written. Now we shall move on to the classification of adjective of number or numeral adjective because it has got some other ideas and the pronominal adjective as well because pronominal adjective can be classified in other four ways or five ways. So please write down the example in your copies then we shall write down adjective of number and we shall discuss more on adjective of number or numeral adjective or pronominal adjective. So please write down these examples in your copies. Now, as a type of number. So, as a type of number can be classified into four ways. First one is cardinal number. The second one is ordinal number. Third one is multiplicative. And the last one is indefinite. That means the cardinal numeral, ordinal numeral, multiplicative numeral, and indefinite numeral. So, the examples are given here 30, 40, first, second, double, single, all, sum. 
So when we talk about these examples and these words, if these words are used in a sentence and if it qualifies a noun, then it becomes adjective of number. Now, specifically, if you want to identify, the name will be cardinal numeral. For example, there are 40 students. So 40 students. So it is qualifying students. So the word 40 will be cardinal numeral number. Likewise, ordinal. When first is used, and if it is qualifying another noun, it becomes ordinal. When we talk about multiplicative, double, when it qualifies another noun, it becomes multiplicative. When it becomes indefinite and all is qualifying another noun, it becomes indefinite numeral. So the question is, when in the exam, any word or any example is given, and we are getting these words like this, 30, 40, first or second or double, single, and it is qualifying another noun. So what kind of name should we write? That is a very important thing and students, are get, students get confused about this. So my answer is, this is a very simple thing. If you want to write cardinal numeral as a tip, answer is correct. If you write this is an as a tip of number, your answer is correct as well. The same case is with ordinal number, the same case is multiplicative or indefinite. Forget about all these four, if you just identify this is an as a tip of number, if you write down as a tip of number, your answer is correct. If you write down it is a numeral as a tip, your answer is correct as well. But for better understanding, and if you go through in details, so you have to go through with these sort of things. I hope by this you will be able to understand as a tip of number or numeral as a tip. Now we shall move on to pronominal as a tip. So the first one is interrogative, then the second one is demonstrative, third one is distributive, fourth one is possessive, and the last one is relative. So these all are actually pronoun, interrogative pronoun, demonstrative pronoun, distributive pronoun, possessive pronoun and as well as relative pronoun. But the problem is when it is qualifying a noun, the name changes, it becomes interrogative as a tip, demonstrative as a tip, distributive as a tip possessive as a tip, relative as a tip. Finally, th these all are pronominal as a tip. So if you want to write interrogative as a tip, your answer is correct. If you want to write pronominal as a tip, your answer is correct as well. So now, please write down this in your copies. Then we shall try to discuss some of the examples. So then the idea becomes very clear. is a sentence. Now which ideally this is a pronoun but here which is qualifying noun book it becomes interrogative adjective or pronominal adjective. Ideally this is demonstrative pronoun but here it is qualifying noun it becomes demonstrative as a tip or pronominal as a tip. Each is distributive as a tip here. Ideally this is pronoun but here it is qualifying noun boy. It becomes distributive as a tip or pronominal as a tip. Possessive we have discussed possessive as a tip before but now relative as a tip. So here that is relating but the problem is it is actually qualifying another noun book is the noun here so the name becomes relative as a tip so the question is if you write down relative as a tip the answer is correct if you are confused what kind of name will be with this example and if you can identify this is from pronoun and pronoun is acting as an as a tip here you can also write down this is a pronominal as a tip. So both answers are correct. If you write down pronominal as a tip, the answer will be correct. If you write down interrogative as a tip, 
the answer will be correct. If you write down this is demonstrative adjective, the answer is correct. It is pronominal adjective, it is also correct. So please copy these examples. Now, there will be some more adjectives. Now, these are most important adjectives. That's why I'm just trying to give some of the examples so that the total chapter of adjective becomes very clear to you. Now, some other examples of adjective. The first one is proper adjective. We are Bangladeshi. The word Bangladeshi has come from Bangladesh. We know that the name of a country is a noun, it's a proper noun. So any proper noun becomes adjective, the name is proper adjective. So the main form is Bangladesh, from Bangladesh, Bangladeshi, India, Indian, China, Chinese, Britain, British. So this is how proper adjective is formed. Remember, proper adjective starts always with capital letter. Another adjective is emphatic adjective, because it is emphasizing. It is also known as emphasizing adjective. This very book is mine. If I say this book is mine, it's correct. But when I am saying this very book, that means I am giving more stress. More stress on what? More stress on book. So students, this is very easy. Just focus on this. This very book, that means I am giving more stress on this word very. And the word is qualifying noun. So it becomes emphatic as it is. Another example is exclamatory adjective. Now students, there is a sign. We know that the sign of exclamation. Now sign of exclamation is there. So definitely there will be an extreme feelings. Maybe it is of joy, it is of sorrow, but whatever be the reason here, look at the word what? An idea. This is a noun phrase, but it is qualifying what? As there is a sign, sign of exclamation, so the name becomes exclamatory adjective. And the last one is participle adjective. We know that the participle is formed when there is verb plus ing, but it is acting as adjective. So here the word verb is look, ing is added, looking, it is qualifying the word glass, it becomes participle. As the participle is qualifying the noun, it becomes participle as a tip. Please copy these examples. And this is how, dear students, our class ends. I think by now, you must have very good idea over as a tip. We have learned definition. We have learned numerous classification. We have learned some other examples of as a tip as well. Now, I am going to give you some homework. You can copy the homework and there will be feedback classes. And in that class, we will discuss about the examples or the homework that is given now. So please copy the homework that I am going to write now.